All of Japan has entered a parallel world where there is only themselves. They can play whatever they want, but they must often participate in a real life game of life and death. If you refuse to participate, you will not breathe. Players who successfully pass the game are given visas to extend their survival days. Failure to pass the game will be hit by a laser. Each game is different in difficulty and type. This is the equivalent of playing every time. A gamble with life as a bargaining chip. Do you want them to survive? Alice, David and Taylor. Just yesterday, they played a game with a difficulty of seven of hearts. It's a game where you have to play with your heart and betray your partner to win. The three of them had been friends since childhood, but because of the rules of the game had to kill each other. As a result, only Alice survived, because the other two gave him the chance to live. Alice was also completely broken by guilt. He collapsed in the street and let the rain wash over him. Maybe it's a good choice to just disappear. This scene was seen by Bunny, who was passing by. She saved him. In her words, Alice still has the will to live in her body. Alice did not understand. What do you mean he showed his will to live? I obviously don't want to continue. But the strange thing is, he looked at Bunny's food in front of him. He felt hungry. Bunny said, since the Japanese government decided to dump nuclear wastewater into the sea, it was as if all of us were targeted by someone. Entering this game world, we have to be forced to play this game of death. We could die at any time. Maybe in tomorrow's game. Maybe it's the expiration of our visas. At least eat before you die. Early the next morning, the sun was shining on the ground. The streets were still empty. Bunny came back from her morning walk and saw the empty rice bowl on the ground. She knew Alice was not going to die. It's night time. It was time for them to play the game of life and death again. This time the game was in a tunnel. In this tunnel there is a bus. The two of them cautiously walked onto the bus. There were already three men sitting on it looking at them menacingly. They met in the first game. So far they have cooperated to successfully pass four games. The usual rules. One person with a phone. The game is about to start. The name of this game is Distance Game. The difficulty factor of the game is Plum 4. It seems that this is a game to test group cooperation. The rules of the game in two hours to survive the game test and successfully reach the finish line to pass the game. This is to run on the highway? The crowd did not understand. Jack, the man with the injured foot, subconsciously tried to get up. As a result, he fell down in pain. But the game had already started. They did not have time to think. The other man tried to start the car, but it had no gas. Obviously, the game will not appear so obvious bug. We had no choice but to go on foot. Jack volunteered to leave him here. It's not that he wanted to die. It's that he doesn't want to slow down his companions. That's the harsh reality. A few people set off towards the finish line. The only sound left in the long, narrow tunnel was the sound of running. And the man left behind sat dejectedly in the car. In fact, there was nothing he could do just comforting his companion on the other side in a tunnel for young people were running as fast as they could for them time is life because they are participating in a survival game one second slower and they could be dead 120 minutes to reach the finish line but they didn't know where the finish line was there was no indication from the system they had run about two kilometers when there was a resupply station next to them someone was so thirsty he wanted to take a drink of water but the person next to him stopped him who would be so kind to put water here here. If it's poisoned, it's the end. At this moment, Bunny took out a glass of water from his fanny pack. Alice drank half of the water in one gulp. He exclaimed. That was great. He also kindly handed it to the person next to him. Bunny gave him a blank stare but didn't stop him. She sighed in her mind that he was really a dork. After drinking the water, the four of them set off again. They found that the further they went in, the darker it became. Suddenly Bunny saw something in front of them. The group stopped and took a look. Oh my god. It turned out to be a wolf. They could only run back. David is smarter. He hid under the car. The wolf was too big, so it couldn't get in. He escaped for now. Alice and Bunny ducked into the side of the car. They look around to see where the wolf is. David felt something was wrong at that moment. His sweat beads up instantly. Before he knew it, the car started to cave in. He instinctively used his hands to hold on just when he thought it was over. Suddenly the car stopped moving. Bunny poked her head out to see what was going on. When she looked up, she found the wolf on the roof of the car. The two of them continued to run wildly. Alice opened a car door. He blocked the wolf's path. The wolf rammed several times and failed to break away. 
It smartly jumped on the roof of the car. Alice hurriedly entered the car. However, his door was only half closed when the wolf jammed it. The wolf's strength is really strong. No matter how hard Alice tried, the car door could not be closed. At the critical moment, Bunny came over. She just saw a flare inside the car. She immediately lit it up to scare the wolf. They met up with David and ran like hell. The wolf saw that the three of them were difficult to deal with. It then aimed at another man, Nicky. The wolf came out of nowhere. It bit him. And then there was no more. The other three men saw that they couldn't care less. They continued to run towards the inn. They ran for an unknown period of time. This is not a way to continue to run. Time was getting short. They did not know where the finish line was. At this point, they had already run 8 kilometers from the starting point. Suddenly Alice saw a motorcycle. It was a Royal Enfield motorcycle. If he remembered correctly, this bike was diesel fueled. It's quite rare. As long as there is diesel can start the bus. Because diesel is not interfered with by electronic controls. Alice shook the motorcycle. He found that there was still a lot of diesel fuel inside. He immediately made a decision. He was going to push the motorcycle to go back and then drive the bus back again because the bus was the starting point. He let Bunny and David go first. Otherwise, they run so people do not reach the end. Instead, they were exhausted, so the three separated again. These two people are participating in the survival game. They found that there is no road in front of them. Does this mean that this is the end? It's not sure yet. They have to wait where they are. Alice pushes her motorcycle with all her strength. Finally, they reached the bus. He almost couldn't breathe. Bunny's side suddenly came from the back of the sound. Both of them turned around. The sound was getting louder and louder. They were staring at the door. Suddenly there was water rushing out. Damn it! Behind the gate was the sea. The door can no longer withstand. While the gate can still withstand for a while, they rushed to escape. The two of them ran as fast as they could. The waves behind them were rough, followed by. David usually rarely exercises. Plus he had just run 10,000 meters. Now he could not run faster than the speed of the water. Soon he fell to the ground. The photos in his arms fell with him. He picked up the photo with his wife. The look in his eyes was full of despair. He could no longer see his wife. He could no longer see his unborn child. He turned around and was immediately submerged in water. And Bunny was running completely wild. She just needs a pair of wings, otherwise she could fly. Facing the choice between life and death, how strong is one person's explosive power? Suddenly a bus appeared ahead. Alice made it. He called out to Bunny. Bunny saw Alice and it was like seeing hope. She burst out again with amazing speed. The water was less than 10 meters away from her. The driver made an emergency maneuver and stopped the car smoothly in the middle. Alice reached out and grabbed Bunny. She was finally saved. After everything quieted down, the three of them stood on the roof of the car and watched the body of the car printed with gold. It turns out that the end of the line was right where they started. In fact, they did not need to run at all. Just wait for the end of time at the start. I have nothing to say about this game design. If you like it, please follow and like it. See you next time.